Hi, we're back with Sunshine, the American Cocker Spaniel, working on the face, and we are on the muzzle, which we're going to include the um, clipper work on the throat and the cheeks. So I'm going to pull this loop down. The biggest thing that I need you to know is that you've got to leave this line high enough that you have enough coat to create that pretty four chest, okay? So let's turn them around. Nope. And we re recognize that, and we're going to work against the grain, okay? And this is a 10 blade, all right, backwards, using the new volt. And I'm going to come right up from that point then and join the clipper work that I did when I did the ear. All right, I want to get that bottom lip really clean, and he is a big crybaby, and I am not hurting him. Stop. Okay, and we're going to come right up to the top of the ear. And then I'm going to stop just outside the outside corner of the eye. Then I'm going to bring that same 10 blade in, and I'm going to come on the inside corner of the eye right here. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but from the inside corner, I'm going to invert. They should have a very deep stop by the, uh, the breed standard. So we're going to come right in there with that clipper and clean that out. You want to shorten up those muzzles, so I like to come across the front with that 10. And then I take my 10 width and rake over the lips because they should have a very plush, kind of squishy muzzle. So I want to make sure that I leave as much squish <laughs> as possible. All right, so we got to get them up here. And then you can come in and define out under the eye a little bit, which we will cover in the section of the eye. But make sure that you are stretching those lips, oh, will you stop, as far as possible and clipping all that out. I am touching you. I don't even have the clippers in your mouth. You're silly. You're a silly boy. Okay. Make sure that your clipper work is smooth. These guys have a lot more skin than a poodle and some of your other breeds. So you want to make sure that you just stretch that skin as tight as possible so you get smooth finish the first time around because as you can see not all of them appreciate the whole grooming experience so that's it all right from the top of the ear outside corner of the eye from the bottom of the ear you're going to start so you have enough fore chest and you're going to clean the under jaw really really good in the flues between the eyes make sure you get a nice deep stop and then I flipped it around and went with the grain on the, um, the muzzle and then um, just did the lips against. Thanks.